Hey there, and welcome to a new game we're going to be trying, Nimbatis. Uh, this is a very, very early game. It's currently in its uh, Kickstarter, which you can go check out if you want. There will be links to that, as well as the Steam page in the uh, description. But uh, it's a really cool kind of like drone space combat uh, building type of game. It's really interesting. So. Uh, like I said, it's very early. Um, there are fairly limited features, but even what is here is really cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, I played a little bit of this on stream to test it and kind of get a bit familiar with what we can do here. So we start out in this galaxy, and currently this is all there is, um, just this one galaxy, but it's actually quite massive. Um, each one of these dots is essentially a, uh, a star or, or a planet. You can see here all these are different planets we can visit. And uh, currently there's, uh, there's kind of like the same missions on each planet. You can travel to a planet and um, then start missions. So for example, if we just travel here, um, there's kind of a description of the planet and then there's these missions. The missions right now are pretty much the same um, for all the planets. I think they vary a little bit, uh, but so far there isn't much variation since it is so early. Uh, so you can select drones and, and this is where it really gets interesting is your drone building. You build your own uh, spaceships or drones. So if we select a drone, I have a couple built here, um, neither of which is really gonna be great for this, but just to quickly sh demonstrate um, for you, I have one here that I built, and I'll go into like all the parts and stuff and how this works uh, here in a second. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch this, and I, I'm not expecting to do well at all. Uh, this, this is a very poorly built drone, um, but just to kind of show you how we uh, how we play and stuff. So, uh, you know, our goal is to uh, destroy these hives and stuff, and you can create these drones. Now, mine is freaking out because, like I said, it's very poorly built. Um, but there's all different kinds of weapons and, uh, and and such that you can build, and all the planets and such and such are destructible as well. Um, the entire environment is destructible here. So, um, obviously, that did not work, but you can kind of get an idea of what's, uh, what's going on there. Now, if I travel back to the galaxy, um, I'm going to go to this battle arena and uh, try out this other drone I built. So, there's this drone, and we're actually gonna go in and we're gonna edit this a little bit to show you. So there is a tutorial here, which is quite nice. It kind of shows you like, uh, you know, what you can do and such. Uh, but you have this this area here with the grid and the grids really nice and you'll kind of see why so you can build things symmetrically and such um, But you have your your core your drone drone brain here And then you attach all these different parts to it. We have thrusters batteries fuel tanks shields uh, mechanical parts weapons sensors and this is where it gets really interesting um, a lot of people um, who are probably watching are familiar with my Factorio content if you're already with the channel um, you're familiar with that. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, by the way. But uh, if you are familiar with Factorio and you play and you are uh, into Combinator and Circuit Network stuff, I think you're going to have a really, really great time with this because you have these sensors and on top of that, you also have all of this logic parts, which are essentially like Combinators. There's, you know, buttons, if gates, uh, not gates, and gates, or gates, NAND gates, XOR, switches, logic connectors, logic splitters, impulse giver, and uh, color LEDs. So there's all these logic gates you can do um, to make your drone pretty much just autonomous, to just do stuff on its own and have all these conditions. Now, I'm not really familiar with any of this because if you watch my Factorio stuff, you know I'm terrible with this type of stuff. Um, but uh, the sensors are really cool because what this can do is, uh, is sense certain things. So if we just stick this, for example, out here, um, or just here, we'll just do, it's not gonna go there, but we put this here, you can set these. So it, you can tell it what to detect, right? If it detects terrain, anything, or here, um, enemies, or terrain, um, the range you can extend out, and then the key you want it to press. And you can set all your stuff to keys. So like, these are currently set to uh, just my left mouse button. So I could have this say, if it sees enemies through its path to hit left mouse button and it will automatically fire my weapons. Right now, if I wanted it to only fire like this weapon, I could assign only this to the left click button and then these three to something else. And it will just automatically do that for me. Uh, now, there are a few things we need to tweak here. So if we test this really quick, 
Um, this is something I've done for the battle arena where you essentially it's kind of like a wave um, survival type thing. Um, this one I actually haven't put any mo movement into because I um, kind of discovered that it may actually be better to do it without movement for this particular uh, scenario. But we do need lots of shields and power and stuff. So if we go back to the editor, there's a, a couple things we can do here. Um, you can just click these and, and just click and place them, but it doesn't really like um, overlapping parts. So uh, what, what you can do is find new connection points. So if you see that little like connection uh, symbol there, if I click that, it's going to make a new connection point onto this and uh, that'll work better rather than having it all connect from here and then have all these like uh, stabilizer bars can uh, like overlapping. Um, that, that's where you're gonna run into problems. So if we, for example, say to connect from there, you can see it now moves this, and this is kind of how you build your drone out, but um, you do want to, of course, keep in mind your, you know, stability and uh, center of gravity and stuff, because the physics do exist here, so, you know, it, it won't like it if it's like all lopsided. Um, but here, um, I'm rotating this just with the middle mouse button, which is super simple. Um, I'm gonna place these kind of around for some defense. These are just kind of like blocks, but they do have, you know, uh, HP value and such. So we're gonna do this and you cannot, it seems as if uh, you can't really like shoot your own stuff. Um, so I'm not really worried about these being in the way of the guns uh, because I don't think you can really uh, actually damage your own stuff like that. So, uh, you know, this is not super symmetrical and may not like this. <laughs> I think this overlapping part here is going to be uh, very unfortunate. Um, this actually we may want to connect from something else, like potentially this. Because uh, these are our shield generators here, these little circles, um, and we want those protected. Now if I, if I just test this, okay so so far that does seem good or not. You can see it's, <laughs> it's not liking that, it's starting to, to wiggle. And bounce around here because it's not particularly stable um, unfortunately so we're gonna have to see what we can do here in terms of this in fact what we may want to do and I'm just hitting delete on these it's super easy um, if we connect from this um, well no that's actually what we had um, perhaps if we connect from this thing and go more like that that would be better maybe a little more stable hopefully and then these, these grids, of course, help kind of line stuff up. So if I were to take this, you know, this is not going to be super symmetrical or anything. Um, but if we go ahead and do that and test this out. So some stuff is starting to wall, mostly just the stuff that's on the shield, I think, because it's <laughs> very unstable right there. Um, this one seemed okay, but... I feel like this should maybe be brought in. Like this isn't this isn't for looks, right? Th this is not going to win any beauty contests or anything with this. Uh, but I do feel it's important to protect it. And this may be um, overkill. Like this may just be really bad what I'm doing here. Um, but I just want some extra defense because there are some guys in this battle arena, which we'll see, that will uh, kind of do a lot more damage to us. Like th that'll go through the shields essentially. Now this does not look great. Um, we can modify that later. I'm mostly just testing the theory here um, as to whether this will work or not. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of place these out here. And I'm just clicking on that node here with, with when the symbol comes up to connect it to that point. This actually just looks atrocious. This, <laughs> this looks absolutely horrible. But uh, I wanna see if this is even remotely possible. And then I'm going to zoom out a bit. That looks so bad. Let's see how much of it wobbles. Actually, none of it, surprisingly. Um, part of the issue could have been the uh, center of gravity. Uh, maybe why those were wobbling, potentially. So, yeah, this looks really bad. It's, like, very uneven and lopsided, but I think this may be... Uh, we don't actually want to connect to that. We want to connect from this guy. Okay, so uh, sure, let's let's save this atrocious looking thing and uh, go ahead and launch this in the battle arena. So uh, what we could also do, of course, is then use those sensors to where I don't even have to click. I could just have it sense when there's enemies nearby 
and uh, have it just shoot on its own. So I'm gonna deploy my shields with, uh, I've assigned those to space bar here. And we're kind of just, just gonna kind of tough it out here. Now some of these are wobbling. Uh, hopefully they don't fall off because then some real bad things are gonna happen. Uh, but I have these solar panels and then batteries as well, which is kind of how I'm managing to sustain all this. Because the, you know, the shields and stuff do, of course, take battery and solar um, stuff. So I'm just kind of letting stuff charge Yowch, back up. Yeah, these guys here, these bigger guys, these can shoot like through the shields. So I want to target them preferably first. Um, and you can see they actually took out one of my shields somehow. I don't know, they actually knocked off a block, which is unfortunate. And we may, oh, we're dead, yep. I haven't quite been able to make it past that wave yet. Um, so I think maybe, let's try a new drone. Let's just start from scratch here. And uh, utilize some of the, the sensors maybe. So what we want to do, we're gonna want some solar panels because these things are like super good, I think. Like, you don't really want stuff overlapping. That seems to just make it really, really finicky with how... And I'm just going to... Okay. It seems... It'll start, like, vibrating and wobbling if if it doesn't like what you've done. Um, and then what we're going to do is connect to here rather than um, connecting to the base. Because when I first started, I made the mistake of connecting, like, stuff out just from this uh, center point. And that's when you run into problems. So I'm just clicking here to get those done. Um, and then we're, let's actually throw some sensors. Uh, distance sensor, speed sensor, directional sensor. This could actually be interesting. Let's see what this does. So if I increase tolerance to like that, it sees tilted left, okay. Um, I think that's not what I want. I think we just want these distance sensors. So if we put him here and just face him, we could actually just pull this in even. So if we face him there, we do want a bit more range just because those guys are going to be there. Um, enemies, and then once we get our weapons, we'll set the hotkeys and stuff for all this. So let's go ahead and bring him there. Now, I don't know quite what I brought the range to, so we're just going to have to kind of guess. I think you can copy stuff. I suppose I could just try. The, the hotkeys actually seem very intuitive. Um, so on this next one, we'll try and we'll see. Um, let's actually, let's just, if we take this and do control C. Nope. Okay. I thought maybe that would do it. Control V. Oh, that. Oh, okay. So that copied that one. I think so if we there we go so if we do that okay so yeah so if you just click on a thing and hit control V um, it'll just copy it like perfectly um, well it's not what we wanted let's click off that and look at the range so not all these ranges <laughs> are the same uh, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball them this is actually where the grid is super helpful because you can see this guy comes out to here so you can kind of just line all this up although and then that's lined up that one's maybe a little long. We want this to be enemies. That may not actually be far enough, um, a far enough distance, but what we'll see. So we have all these sensors. Um, we probably want to add some more sensors out this way too, just because you know we want them in uh, multiple directions if possible. Just click that, and then let's. Um, I should have been copying. I. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to that. Let's go ahead and do that. Just this guy. But yeah, there is so much you can do with this. Like, you know, if you know your circuitry and logic conditions and such, uh, you, you could do a ton with this. So we're just gonna control V that and click it here and then do that. And control V and click on that. So let's give this, let's see if this just breaks. No weird vibrates or anything yet. I think it's okay for now. Um, okay, so we have all these sensors kind of looking out around us. Now we'll definitely want some shields. Um, there's only the obviously one type of shield generator at the moment, the small energy shield. 
Um, but these do have a, a bit of range, so the problem here is I haven't left myself much room because uh, putting this here, you'll see the bar kind of intersects with the sensor and I get the feeling it's not going to like that. But it may be okay. Um, so we're just going to have that go like that. We will add a key. We will probably do the shields manually just because I don't always want those on. Uh, but I do want, you know, them to be on like maybe not like like a little before the enemies get there potentially just so I'm not taking that damage. And we're just going to do this. I think four should be sufficient. I seem to have put this in the wrong spot. <laughs> Uh, let's actually, let's just control V. Uh oh, I can't actually copy that. I can't copy that one, I guess. Do that. There we go. So those are my shields there. And we'll just copy that. Let's see. Sweet. Okay, so that does protect us. The shield is barely covering the sensors, um, but hopefully that'll be okay. Now, the sensors, we could actually do some sort of... I don't know if this is gonna block them. I guess we'll find out. Um, we may want, actually, if we do this, this may get a little bit wobbly for us. Uh, we'll have to find out here. And then we're gonna need some weapons. Now the weapons I was using uh, when, I, when I demonstrated to you, those are um, kind of like a seeker missiles. They do seek out their targets a bit once you shoot them. Um, and that's why I was using them, since uh, this drone doesn't move. Uh, I could make it move. I could throw, like, jets and stuff on here, but I found it was kind of easier to make it not move. Okay, so, so far that seems okay. Just protect our sensors. We probably want to protect our shield generators, too, but um, with them being this far out, I think this is going to get really, uh, really kind of heavy. But we could test... Because, yeah, the important part is for them to not knock out our shields. That's actually really the most important part. Is to not have our shields knocked out. Because as long as our shields are up, only those few uh, few guys of that one type can actually hit us. That looks really lopsided. Something looks wrong. <laughs> this does not look right at all. This needs to, like, come... Like that? I don't know. I think that could actually come in a little bit. And then if I just rotate that. I don't know why it's not cooperating like the other ones. There, maybe that's better-ish. Or not. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um... Okay, so if we do that. Okay, let's throw on some weapons at this point. So we have uh, we have all these melee type weapons, uh, which won't do us much good because the guys never really get close in. We have these uh, bullet gun towers, these plasma short beam lasers, rocket gun tower, which is what I was using, these EMP riot snipers, bullet sniper, plasma sparks thrower, plasma flames thrower, and shotgun. These shotguns could actually be quite good um, for this. So... If we just throw, if we do, yeah, actually, let's let's zoom out a little bit here. If we do this, there may this may work to connect here. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna like that or not. It may not. And these guys do take energy, just to clarify that. Stick these out here. Make sure that that support bar isn't really intersecting anything. And then we'll test this. So. Nothing's wobbling, but you can see <laughs> it is actually managing to kind of turn us, which is interesting. Um, and that's actually a really good spread. We could use another one like on the end somewhere, but that could be quite difficult. Um, it's definitely possible they're going to take out on the ends here, though. We could maybe put some other stuff like. Um, these sh that's a short beam laser. We could put some of these, I mean, these track, the nice thing about these, these track things is that tracking things, you don't have to have them, like, 
actually pointing the necess like necessarily the direction that the, the enemies are coming from. Um, I'm not really a fan. <laughs> Uh, I mean, let's see, can we, we may be able to stick this guy right out here without much of conflict. That's a little bit iffy on that one, if that's actually going to work without a conflict, because it looks like it's hitting that, but I guess we'll find out. No, that could actually be really good. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's just mirror that or uh, make that symmetrical on all sides, and then I think we should be good to go. So, what was that connect? It was connected to this, wasn't it? I think. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... There. There we go. So, we are missing, wait, why are we missing? That should still be okay, I think. Uh, now this... Okay, now that's where that's where we had it. We actually want these, like... Well, I mean, they could just point straight out, I suppose. Because uh, you can rotate them on the, on the bar there, like you saw. And then there are, like, hinges and stuff, too, um, over here in the mechanical parts. There's these free hinge, motorized hinges, decouplers, which I'm sure you could, like, make do stuff based on conditions. So if we, uh, you know, decouple based on a key and then you can have the, you know, a, condi a logic part or a sensor or something uh, hit that key to make it work, which would be pretty interesting, actually. I'm not really sure what you would decouple, like split your ship into multiple parts or something. Um, that could be interesting. All right, so let's just finish this guy up. And these sensors, I think I'm going to have to, I mean, more sensors would probably be better but I guess we should just extend this range out because some of these guys, you know, we want to kill them as soon as possible. So having this extend out would probably be good. Let's extend those out. Just kind of bring it far out here. And then make sure I got that one, which I didn't. That, okay, so sweet. So then now if we just take, so these are all assigned to the left mouse button, which is totally fine. Um, so we could just make that do that. And then I really should have signed the key first before I place them all <laughs> and copied them, but that's fine. So if we do that, that's, oh, I was on that one, that one's good. This one needs a key and then I think we're good. So if we test this, I don't know if the enemies are actually going to come within range here. They may. Holy hell. So if I, I could just keep my shields deployed. Actually, the shields... Hmm, the shields aren't quite covering all of our stuff. That could be a problem. I'm a little nervous about doing something like this. <laughs> But I guess we'll see what happens. It's really just these tip ones. So I could actually just put it like right up against it like that. There we go. Okay, um, really I should just make these maxed, shouldn't I? I don't think the range like hurts anything or makes them less effective. So let's just bump all these up to max. And I may end up wanting um, actually more solar panels or batteries potentially but we'll see. Okay, let's uh, let's save this. So he saved. This one looks a lot better than this crap. <laughs> I'm gonna select this and we'll, we'll, let's just see what happens. So the only keys I'm hitting is space um, for my shields because I wanted to control that manually, but let's see what happens here. Like I said, I really think I need more solar panels potentially. And there we go. These things are shooting um, not very well. Okay, so the problem is that they, like, can't really turn. Okay, they're shooting. I see. Okay, I see the problem. Um, so the problem, right, is that um, it's shooting all weapons when any detector te detects them, which is not 
what we want <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, so what we want is to point these like this way. I'm gonna have to assign different keys. So like this, we'll assign to like, we'll just assign to like one, alpha one. And then this one, we want to hit alpha one. So when there's something out here, it'll fire these two. Um, this one, uh, well, we'll do, let's do these first. And we'll point these, those direction, that direction. So it's gonna be two, as is this guy. Um, this guy's gonna be three, and then we'll reassign these to be three. And yeah, so that this is just kind of a taste of, uh, of the game for you guys to see it. Well, that's not three. We want that one to be four. Um, to see if it's something you'd like to see more of. Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of trying out new games. Um, see, see what we can get ourselves into. There's definitely a lot to check out for sure. Um, this one, um, I guess this one could just be five. Five, and then you'll be five. And if that, well, the problem with that, hmm. Yeah, five, you'll be six, and then you'll be six. This really should like point more in the direction of the <laughs> sensor. Um, and then this one will be seven, and you'll be seven, and we'll point you kind of more that way. And then this one will be eight, and this one will be eight. So let's give that a shot and see how that works. Because hopefully that, that should, like, not just be firing all of them in one random direction. I may, like, you saw my shields going down, though, because we were actually... Hmm, okay, so they're not actually always entering the zones. Once they do, they get, like, totally obliterated, but the problem is they're not really entering <laughs> the correct zones here. Um, okay, so let's just... Do one more quick edit before I end this video. Uh, what we actually want is more sensors in this particular case. Um, these directional sensors may have been better for something like this. Um, so if we just stick one, like here, bump its range up, enemies. And if we just assign that to shoot I mean, really, I could just, like, attach this to anything, right? <laughs> this this should be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, so these are three. So if I add this assigned to three, th uh, three, and then we do that. Actually, we kind of want these, like, rotated out a bit, don't we? I think that would be better. Three, you're gonna rotate up a little bit. There we go, that's like way better. That's a really, really good range of coverage right there. I have a feeling <laughs> we're gonna have some really wonky stuff going on right now. Um, if we test this, eh, it's not bad actually. All right, so yeah, that, that's kind of what we're gonna do here is just get these um, sensors. Okay, so that was there. We're gonna need one like here-ish. I have a feeling this is not gonna go as well as I'm hoping it is. What was this, alpha two? This is gonna be alpha two. There we go. And then you are gonna be same and that should cover that side pretty much and then you we're gonna copy and paste from here we're gonna need to change the hotkey but um, so this one is one so you're gonna fire one and then copy paste like this go and then just a couple more here I feel like these sensors actually don't interfere with stuff as much as I may be thinking they do
So there's still a bit of an air gain here, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, so that's alpha one, so then this one, we're just going to attach to here. Like that, and you're going to be alpha four. That's five, alpha four. So I'm gonna copy, and you're gonna also be alpha four. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work. <laughs> this thing is pretty nuts. Um, oh, I have too many parts. I have 54 parts. Crap, I have way too many sensors. Or, or four too many, to be exact. Um, we really could... Pro I'm not... That's attached to that. This one, we could probably get rid of. That one we can't. That one we can. Um... And then, what else could we get rid of here? Unfortunately, there's not much that we could get rid of. I really need these things on the shield protectors, although that, yeah. Could get rid of those. I mean, I could remove, I could get rid of the shields here and see what happens. Let's save that one last test and then we'll go. <laughs> then, then I'm gonna go for, for this video, guys. Let me know down below what you think, um, if you enjoyed it or not, if you wanna see more, uh, but I, I think this is gonna be a disaster, is what this is gonna be. <laughs> oh, this is so crap. I think I forgot something somewhere. They're all just shooting in a line or in a thing over there. But you can see the potential here. If you're actually better at this than I am, which is probably likely, um, then this uh, would work pretty well, I would imagine. And the problem is we don't actually have enough energy for my shotguns to fire. This could actually work well if the shotguns shoot. Oh, we're going down, guys. We're going down. Damn. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, more uh, new games to come. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.